A few years ago, I seen something online that said you should water your orchids with ice cubes. And I thought, what a stupid idea. Orchids come from warm tropical countries, especially these orchids here. And these are the Phalaenopsis that most people grow. The last thing they want is cold water on the roots. Why would anyone put ice cubes on an orchid? Well, in this video, I'm going to answer a couple questions about this. Will the ice cubes harm the orchid? Should you be using ice cubes? Does it make any sense at all? The answer might surprise you. Here's one of my little orchids. You can see it's starting to bud up. It has numerous side shoots. This branch here has four side shoots. Over here, we've got another one, two, three, four. And it's going to be covered in buds in a few weeks. It's been growing really well. I don't water with ice cubes. And when I first heard this idea, I didn't think very much of it. I was pretty sure that the ice cubes would damage the roots. They're really cold, the ice cubes. And the orchids like to be warm. So how is that a good combination? Well, in 2017, the paper was released that actually studied this in a lab. And it was done by a graduate student called Kaylee Smith. And she had support of other professors at two universities. And they did a very thorough study of this. It turns out ice cubes will not damage the roots on these orchids. Now, what you see as roots are quite thick. And there's white or gray or green, depending on how much water they have in them. But what you're looking at there is the velum. It's kind of a spongy material that surrounds the root. The root is actually very thin and is inside the velum. So this spongy layer protects the real root inside from the cold. So when you put an ice cube on orchid roots, it does cool them down, but not far enough so it'll do any damage. The science is pretty clear on this now. Ice cubes will not damage orchid roots. Another important question to ask is, will the ice cubes shorten the flowering period? Like, does this harm the plant so that the flowers drop? I mean, you've probably heard that when you move a plant from a, one environment to another one, it's really hard and lots of plants will drop their flowers. So maybe the cold ice cubes do that. Well, this study also looked at that. It found no difference between ice cubes and warm water for watering the orchids. The flowers will last just as long in both cases. The next question we should ask, is this a good way to water orchids? Well, the answer to that, it depends. The main cause for people killing orchids is overwatering. For some reason, homeowners just can't leave their orchids alone and they water too often. The media is too wet, the roots are too wet, and then the roots rot. The nice thing about ice cubes is that it's a simple rule for people to follow. Some rules say two ice cubes, others say three. So you take your three ice cubes and you put them on your plant and that's it for the week. So it's a simple rule. And if you follow this, you won't overwater your orchids. So from that perspective, if you're the type of gardener who doesn't want to learn how to water these plants properly, and you like to use lots of water, you like to give your plants a lot of care, ice cubes are probably a good option because they'll prevent you from killing your plant. Now, before you go running out and getting some ice cubes to water your orchids, there is a problem here that you have to understand. There have also been studies to see what damage ice cubes will do to orchid leaves. And it turns out they will damage the leaves. Leaves are much more sensitive than the roots because leaves don't have this thick spongy velum on them. And so when the temperature drops to about 10 degrees centigrade, they will start to be damaged. And ice is at zero degrees. So clearly, if I take an ice cube and put it on my leaf, the leaf's going to be below 10 degrees, and I will damage the leaf. If you're going to use ice cubes, you have to learn to do it properly. The ice cube can sit on the roots, and it can sit on the media that's in the pot, but it can't sit on the leaves. It should never touch the leaves or the crown of the plant. So by placing it over here on the side, that's fine. And this pot's large enough that there's room for the ice cubes. But don't lean it up against the orchid. That can be a problem with some of the small fowls because they're in small pots. And then there's just not room for the ice cubes. So what do I think about this method? 
Well, it does work. And in some cases, it will prevent you from killing your orchid. Just be careful how you use it. To be honest, I think it's much better to learn to water them properly. And that's just as easy as using ice cubes. And how do you do that? Well, I made a separate video about that. And the link for that is in the top right hand corner. Enjoy your orchids.